come springtime, uh, once wolves start the den, uh, what we'll try to do is uh, increase our monitoring so that we can try and get an idea of where they're denning. Once a month, all winter long, Jason Hussman has flown over some of our state's most spectacular scenery, searching out the signals from each of the radio collared wolves in central Idaho. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Today, the wolves are visible from the air, loafing on a ridgetop. They're difficult to spot with an untrained eye, but look closely. One, two, three wolves enjoying the spring sunshine. Oh, you want me to mark this? Jason will record the exact longitude and latitude so he can return next month and hopefully locate a den site. Then the real work begins. We're looking at uh, home site information. So, you know, if you go in and you find a pack of, uh, pack of wolves with their pups, you'll look at the type of habitat they're using, distance to habitation, uh, human use, distance to water, that kind of thing. Jason Summer will be spent documenting pack sizes counting pups, and trapping wolves to ensure that each known pack has at least one radio collared animal. This will give scientists the tools they need to estimate wolf population growth. It's all part of the transition from federal to state management of wolves, and for biologist Jason Hussman, a wonderful way to become acquainted with our state's stunning terrain. It puts you in some of the most amazing places in Idaho. I've seen probably the most beautiful country that uh, I'll get to see being, uh, you know, being out there chasing wolves around.